Santa Clara County health officials are warning about a sharp increase in COVID in wastewater samples. Sarah Donchi is here to break down the new data and Sarah, they don't like the direction it's heading. Not really, Liz, because the wastewater samples basically show us just how much virus is out there. And it's actually more reliable than the case count since at this point, so many people are just testing at home. And those numbers, of course, are not automatically reported. So here's what we know. The levels are skyrocketing right now. There's the spike at the end of the chart. It shows all four county sewer sheds are in the high category for COVID. The green line shows the Palo Alto shed. That's even higher than last winter's Omicron surge. The orange line is the big one to watch. That's the San Jose sewer shed, which captures about 75% of the county. Dr. Sarah Cody says it's not yet comparable to the Omicron peak, but it's on its way up there. So we not only have uh, COVID as we've had the last two winters, but we have flu and RSV and other viruses circulating as well. So it's like a winter of viral soup. So I guess the bottom line is there's a ton of virus circulating and if you want to be healthy for the holidays, you need to take action and you need to do it now. So Dr. Cody says the county probably won't bring back mask mandates, but she does recommend them, especially if you're inside and somewhere crowded like the gym. Well, you should get a COVID booster and flu shot, she says. Only 25 percent of people in Santa Clara County have gotten the latest bivalent booster. It's still among those who are most at risk for getting really sick and needing to uh, be hospitalized for their illness, um, booster rates are still below 50 percent. And that's just not going to get us where we need to be. That's not going to protect us. That's not going to protect our families. And that's not going to protect our health care system. Hospitalization rates, which we talked about a lot in the early stages of the pandemic, those are going up right now, too. The number of people in county hospitals has more than doubled from the beginning of November to December. Now, we also know that COVID can be a big problem for restaurants that are trying to keep up staffing. Coming up at 6, we look at how one restaurant owner is giving her workers an extra incentive to get boosted. Lists. Yeah, the timing of all this is not ideal, especially with the holidays just weeks away. All right, Sarah, thanks.